Good morning, everybody. So this is day two of the 30-day EFT challenge. So I had some amazing comments and lots of questions about EFT. So first of all, I'm going to explain real briefly what EFT or tapping is all about. So there is a almond-shaped little center in your brain called the amygdala. And the amygdala is what keeps you in that fight or flight mode. It's a safety mechanism that keeps your nerve system on alert. And a thousand years ago when we were being chased by cyber-toothed tigers or lions or bears, whatever it was, it was a good mechanism to trigger that adrenaline and to really get us into motion. But the problem is, is with the modern lifestyle and the stress that we're feeling today, our little amygdala keeps firing and keeps us in a stress mode. And you cannot heal your body, you cannot be happy when you feel like you're being chased by a saber-toothed tiger all the time. So how do you calm down your nerve system? Well, we know that meditation, deep breathing, all these things are great. But to be very proactive, you can do some tapping. Now, why does tapping work? Tapping works because it stimulates specific acupuncture points or acupressure points that are connected to different meridians that help to calm that amygdala, to help to calm that nerve system so that you can release the stressful emotions and learn to put your body into a relaxation phase. So that's what tapping is about. Now, what we're gonna tap up about today is how to get it all done. Hey, Cecily, nice to see you. Um, you know, there's so many people that um, are so focused on, you know, gotta get the list done, gotta check it off. I mean, I know I've been like that my whole life, nose to the grindstone, gotta check off those to-do lists and get everything done. But especially if you're on a healing journey, you know, you have to learn to balance everything and how do you do that? Well, sometimes our mind is so set on being that little hamster on the, on the wheel and we think that that's the only way that we're going to get everything done when in reality, if we slow down our life and we have a calmer approach, we can actually get more done that way. So we're going to tap on that today. So we're going to start with the karate chop point. So again, if you don't know much about EFT, and this looks really silly because you're tapping on these funny points on your face, just go with it and, and do it. Start off by asking yourself, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how do I feel about the pressure of having to get it all done? How do I find balance in my life? Just thinking about that can stress you out. So on a scale of one to 10, how stressed out are you about that? Is it a 10 where it's like, ugh, I got so much to do. How am I gonna you know, calm down to be able to get it all done? Or maybe it's a four or five. So just write down that number and see where you are and let's start the process. So even though I have so many things that I have to do and I can't seem to get it all done and I get so discouraged and so mad at myself when I can't get it all done, I can choose to honor and love myself. Even though I have all these things that I have to get done and I don't know how I'm gonna get them all done and it really stresses me out, I choose to feel calm about the process and know that it will all work out. So even though I have all these things that I have to get done and it puts a lot of pressure on me and I don't know how to bring balance to my life, I'm open to the possibility of finding that balance. So just follow along with me. So all these things that I need to do, there's so many things I have to do in my life. There's so much pressure for me to accomplish and to check off my goals. I have such a long to-do list every day especially since I'm on a healing journey or I'm trying to maintain vibrant health or create vibrant health. There's so many things that I need to do. There's all the supplements that I take. There's the juicing. There's going to the grocery store to get my organic foods. There's the meditations I have to get in. And then there's the sauna time and the hyperthermia. And then there's exercise. And then there's taking care of my regular family and home things. There's so many things to do. How can I get it all done? How can I find balance in my life? 
there's so much pressure for me to do so many things and I don't know how to get it all done. All this pressure I put on myself. I've been so hard on myself and pushed myself to get things done. I feel so stressed out about having to try to get everything done. Am I going to be able to get it all done? What if I don't get it all done? I'm going to feel like a failure. I'm going to feel like I'm not reaching my goals. What if I can get it all done and it affects my health? All this stress and all this pressure I put on myself. All this stress and all this pressure I put on myself to get it all done all the time. So much pressure, so much stress. What if I choose to think about things differently? What if I choose to have compassion for myself? What if I choose to feel calmer about my life? What if I changed my way of looking at things? The way I've done things in the past, has that worked for me? How I've been so hard on myself and have felt so much pressure, has that benefited me at all? Maybe it's helped me reach a few goals. Maybe it's gotten me through some stressful times. But in the long run, living that life of pressure is not beneficial for me. So what if I choose to look at things in a different way? What if I learn to feel calmer about my life? What if I have more compassion for myself? Thanks for the hearts. Sending you hearts too. What if I choose to do things differently? I know I've done things a certain way my whole life, but if I keep doing the things I've always done the same way I cannot expect different results. So I choose to do things differently. I choose to take deep breaths throughout the day. I choose to look at my life with gratitude. I choose to write myself a list and I just pick one or two things that I commit to getting done. I don't have to have 20 things checked off at the end of the day. I can feel good about accomplishing specific things that I choose to accomplish. Hello, Diamond. Hello, Dorothy. You're very welcome. All this effort that I put into my days, how do I find balance? What if I chose to tap even for five minutes every day? What if I did some simple tapping? Hi, Dorothy. I choose to live a calmer life. Hi, Lainey, I'm glad you're feeling calm. Just tap along and you're gonna feel better. Even if you don't know what you're doing, it's going to make a big difference for you. This calming energy I can embrace every day. I can choose a calm attitude. I know when my body is calm, it creates a healing response. 
When my nerve system is calm with tapping, my immune system becomes alert. When I keep my body in relaxation mode and think about all the things I need to do and accomplish, it feels so much easier to get through my day. I can get through my day in a calm fashion. When I feel myself getting anxious, I trigger myself and I take a deep breath for a few minutes. And then I can tap, even if it's for five minutes. I can just tap on these points right here under the eye and say, I choose to feel calmer I can find balance in my life. I choose to release the stress and live a life of balance. Lainey, I'm so glad that you got some relief from the pain. That's awesome. Tapping can be used for physical pain, for emotional pain, for reducing your stress, all it's doing is bringing your body back to balance. If you find your body is out of balance, this will bring and this will trigger the calming response. It will calm down the stress response. And when that happens, your body has the ability to heal. Your mind can think more clearly and you can feel better about your life and your day. I choose to live my life in balance. I choose to live my life with peace versus panic. Thank you, Carolyn, I'm grateful for you. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Jenny. I choose peace over panic. I choose joy over struggle. I choose trust over fear. All these emotions that can affect me during the day all these emotions. I choose to calm my nerve system down by doing some deep breathing, by some tapping, and even journaling. When I do some tapping, it opens up different avenues so my mind can feel clearer, so my mind can release the clutter and I can feel more balance in my life. And it helps to release the stress and the pressure. The calming response is a healing response. And a healing response triggers positive things in my body. Hey, Ginger. So I choose peace over panic. I choose joy over stress and struggle. And I choose joy over struggle and anxiety. And it's as simple as just a few taps away. So take a few deep breaths. Notice where you are. If you started off and you were like at eight, nine, or 10, hopefully you've been able to you know, go down several numbers as far as your anxiety and the pressure to feel like you have to struggle to get it all done every day. 
And if you've noticed a shift, that's a victory. Celebrate the victory. That's so awesome. I'm so happy for you because I know when I started tapping 18 years ago, it was like a light bulb moment for me. I felt so many amazing shifts. And to this day, you know, I've been certified in EFT for 18 years now. I used it in my practice professionally. I use it personally. And my commitment in starting 2020 is that I was going to do things differently this year. And I was starting off my year with clarity and purpose and peace. And I was going to add tapping. I was going to do tapping for 30 straight days because when you do something for 30 days, it becomes a habit. So I hope that this is helpful for you. Um, please let me know what it is you'd like to tap on and uh, I'll pick certain subjects we can tap on and join me for the 30-day tapping challenge. Uh, I know I'm doing it whether there's five people on or a hundred or a thousand. I'm here to support you. I love you. You're beautiful. You're courageous. You're awesome. And um, thank you for taking the time to be here with me. This is Dr. V sending you a big healing heart hug. Mwah. Bye for now.